everyone and welcome back to Hannah Southern Creations. Today I'm super excited about doing a um, super easy DIY girls 4th of July headband. Um, I'm super excited about it. It's going to be super cute. And also I will take a picture of all the materials that I'm using. Um, but I will of course show you a few of them. Um, I'm using this headband. You can use any kind of headband uh, that you have at home. Um, so I'm going to be using this headband. And so the ears don't show, I'm going to um, make stars, like literally stars, to put over the ears. And then also I have all this uh, red, white, and blue ribbon that I'm going to be using. And then you will need a Sharpie marker, I'm going to use red. And I also have a regular just stick glue, and then I also have... Um, this glittery um, glue as well and then you may need some scissors to cut the ribbon and so what I'm gonna do is um, so when they put it on when Lila puts it on for 4th of July um, she's gonna have the two stars in front of the ears and then I'm gonna tie a string from each color ribbon that I have and it's gonna kind of come down be like real pretty and color, color, really pretty and colorful. Of course, with the red, white, and blue colors. So I'm super excited. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my headband and I'm going to start with red. And so I have two or three different reds. I have this color red. I have more of like a shiny red that looks more glittery. And then I have like just a solid red. So I believe I'm going to start with the glittery red because I just think it's so pretty. So I'm going to get me a piece of that. I'm going to tie it, each piece, onto the headband. So I'm going to go ahead and cut my length. and then I'm going to tie it on there. Okay, and then now I'm going in with my second piece. So I'm going to do a couple of red, then I'm going to move to a couple of blue, and then I will do white next. Okay, so I think I'm going to make this piece a little bit longer. once you cut it it does go up a little bit in length that's better okay so this is what I have so far okay so I'm going to continue with my colors all the way around and just kind of go in between where I put the red. So I think I have a, a good bit of blue and red mixed in. So now I'm going to start with some white and then between the red and the blue. Okay, and that's what we have so far. It's already looking super cute. Can't wait to put the glittery stars on. Those are going to be so stinking cute. Just putting it in between the red and the blue and mixing in some white. add 
any little piece um, that I can fit in there, like here's a space, there's a space, I'm just going to go through and just put in as much as possible, but I think the fuller it looks, um, the better it will be on her. Got um, this other blue here, that's like got some uh, silver with it, so I thought I would kind of mix a few of those in. Maybe like three, one right here, one right here, one on the top. Just to add some extra shininess. I believe we have enough ribbon. Looks full and pretty. So next what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make my stars to put over the cat ears. And it's gonna be really super cute. Okay, so the first thing I wanna do with my stars is I'm just have a piece of um, white paper and I'm just gonna uh, cut out a star and then I'm going to add glitter. Okay, so now that I have my stars cut out um, that are gonna go over the cat ears, it's gonna look super cute, as you can see. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use a Sharpie and color them red and then I'm going to use our glitter glue for glitter. Okay, so this is how I decided to color my stars. I just did outside red, some inside blue. I'm gonna leave the middle um, white and then I'm gonna add some glitter now. One of our stars, it turned out super cute. I did red on the outside, blue, white in the middle, and then I used glitter glue for some sparkle and shine. And then I'm going to just glue this over the cat ears. So it'll look just like that. Okay, so now I am just taping the star onto the headband. pushing it down. Okay, so there's one side and then we'll do the other. Now I'm taking taping on my other star on the other side. And then I press it down. All right, I'm super excited that this is now completed. It didn't take very long to do. It was super easy and simple. I just used ribbon, um, some uh, white paper for the stars and tape turned out super cute so this is our super easy girls uh, headband for 4th of July love it all right so now that we have our headband finished we are going to try it on Lila and see how it looks are you excited Lila yeah! isn't it so pretty okay yeah! so you just hold the ribbon back and then you'll just put it on like a regular headband and pull it up and then you will bring all the hair or ribbon around. Yay! Yay! <laughs> it looks so stinking cute on her, guys. So please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye.